Alright, so check this out. This goes good with airplanes, motorcycles, didgeridoo, and all that stuff. And this is a poem. I'm going to get through it, and then we're going to play some more songs. <clears throat> What's the name of it? Whales. Mysterious in their coming and going, their mating and dying. Secretive and ordained, they move warm-blooded. In their alien element, mild giants, with brains bigger than a man's body, graceful and musical, addicted to pleasure. They sing for each other's delight. This is the use of water. Open your ears to the deep to produce at last the pure lost note of love. And the song of the answering whales sounds like sleep. Under the ever-moving mighty dreams, the sounds are seas, powerful, strong angels of the world. Thoughts of the undying of one life, you rise from what deep springs of ocean, not yours, as our thoughts who slaughter us have moved mountains. To lose the titan's fires, wide gods of life unlocked underground. We of innocent, immoral green earth, maddened by fear of terrors, we ourselves commit ourselves. We will realize our own darkest prophecies. And the creatures that were in the sea and once had life died. Orca is an animal that lives a very close family bonds between the individual members of the family that last their entire life. Whales, sunken gods, too heavy for the sky to hold. The world does not cease to be when a whale dies. The world does not cease to be when a forest dies. I could speak of a hundred dead dolphins, of a thousand young seals. I have never seen a whale die, except in pictures and on television. Moby Dick. The world does not end when a whale is slaughtered. The Eskimos started hunting whales in order to survive. All the peoples of the earth have cut down forests in order to survive. What alarms me is the proliferation of examples and the growing of the deserts, the withering of the woods, birds falling from chemical clouds, fish washed up in industrial sewers, which were once our rivers, the inhospitality of cities, seas polluted by oil, that we could conquer nature. We need to learn that conquest can mean our death. The murder of whales is only one example to show that no man no longer wants to live in this world. An owl winks in the shadows, breathing hard. A young male sparrow stretches his neck, big head watching. The whales turn and glisten, plunge and sound, and rise again, flowing like breathing planets. In the sparkling worlds of living light, and Japan quibbles for words on what kind of whales they could kill, a once great Buddhist nation dribbles metal mercury like gonorrhea in the sea. Ah, China, where are the tigers, the wild boars, the monkeys, like snow of yesteryear taken by invaders? Turtle Island, taken by the invaders who wage war around the world. The abalone, otters, wolves, and elk rise and pull away their giving by the robot nations. Standing tree people, flying bird people, swimming sea people, the four-legged, the two-legged people. How can the head, heavy, power-hungry, politics scientist, government, two-world, capitalistic, imperialistic, third-world, communistic, Paper shuffling, male non-farmer, jet set bureaucrats speak for the greens of the leaf. An owl winks in the shadow. A whale turns and glisten and plunge and sound and rise again, flowing like breathing planets.